We have some really sad news to bring you. Um, Senator Joseph Lieberman has passed away. Uh, we have a statement to read you from his family. Um, the former United States Senator Joseph Lieberman died this afternoon, March 27th, 2024, in New York City due to complications from a fall. He was 82 years old. His yeah. beloved wife, Hadassah, and members of his family were with him as he passed. Senator Lieberman's love of God, his family, and America endured throughout his life of service in the public interest. Senator Lieberman's funeral will be held on Friday. Um, Senator Lieberman... Um, was a legend and a lion of the Senate. He became an independent. Um, he was a wingman. I think he would have described himself to the late uh, John McCain. It's when I spent a lot of time with him in the back seat of an SUV. He represented the state of Connecticut. Um, his legacy is, I'm sure, in the views of some members of the Democratic Party mixed. He left the Democratic Party and became an independent. But his love of the country and his faith and his love of his family and his beloved wife, Hadassah, could not be questioned by a single person. Um, I want to ask you, Matt Dow, what your thoughts are as these pillars of American political and, and civic life um, leave this earth. Well, this is so sad. I mean, it's, it's, we're all learning it at the same time, at, all at the same time and tragic in the course of this. I had the, I was lucky to be, have the chance to meet and get to know him when I worked for Lloyd Benson, who was the U.S. Senator, Democratic U.S. Senator from Texas, when I worked for Lloyd Benson in 1988 in the campaign in the course of this, and then worked against uh, Joe Lieberman when he got on the ticket with Al Gore in, in 2000. I've disagreed with him on, on a number of different things and paths that he's chosen and in positions he's taken in the, in the course of this. But there is no question in my mind, having gotten to know him and then having watched him, the guy's a servant, that he's a public servant. He's, he's b believed in public service. And people that might disagree him, and as you said, Democrats may have, may have chastised him at times in this, there's no question in my mind that you cannot not say that he, is a, he has served in public office and done it in a very, very, uh, in, in, in a way with integrity in the course of this. And so, I mean, it is sad. I actually thought in 2008, and I know you were more intimately involved, I thought John McCain should have picked Joe Lieberman instead of Sarah Palin. Um, <laughs> and, you know, who's, who's to know? Who's to know? I thought he should. And I think John McCain's in, in inclination was to, and then I think he was talked out of it because he couldn't put, quote, unquote, a Democrat on the ticket and would have a problem in the convention. But who's to know what that would have meant without Sarah Palin having raised? And because to me, Sarah Palin was Donald Trump in junior before Donald Trump came on the scene. Sarah Palin was in the course of this. But sad day because he really, you could disagree with him on things and criticize him in a partisan way. He was a public servant. Mark Elias, um, I know you two worked with him. Um, he was one of the kindest people, and he and Hadassah had a love affair. Um, he just oozed warmth toward everyone and anyone that was ever in his presence. He had wisdom. He had deep, deep reverence. Um, for this country and for those who serve, again, even as Matt Dowd is saying, even those who he disagreed with, which over the course of his career, um, some I think he would say um, some of that shifted. Yeah, look, I, I knew Senator Lieberman because I was a young lawyer uh, and he was my client. Uh, and I worked very closely with his campaigns um, and uh, at times with him. And he was, he was, people don't, don't remember, but he was a, not just a giant in the Senate, he was, he had been a giant in the legal profession before that. He had been the, um, uh, in Connecticut. And he was kind with his time. Um, he cared enormously, enormously about how other people were treated, both his staff, people around him, but also how, you know, his constituents and ordinary Americans were. He would... He, he was devoutly religious, but he would walk to the Capitol on Saturdays if mm -hmm. he needed to vote um, because he was committed to doing the public good. And sure, later in his career, um, he, you know, took a turn with the Democratic Party. He left and he became an independent, although, as I would point out, he caucused for most of that time, continued to vote 
with Democrats as an independent and and was actually, a, a, you know, outside of the issues of foreign policy in Iraq, the Iraq war and other things, he, he remained a pretty liberal vote on many of the policy issues that Democrats cared about the most for most of his Senate career. So, you know, I, I will look back um, and always remember him as one of the senators who didn't just do the public's business when the TV cameras were on, but did it when the cameras were off and treated everyone with dignity and humanity and may his memory be a blessing. Murphy of Connecticut tweeted the following in reaction to the passing of Joe Lieberman. Quote, Connecticut is shocked by Senator Lieberman's sudden passing. In an era of political carbon copies, Joe Lieberman was a singularity, one of one. He fought and won for what he believed was right and for the state he adored. My thoughts are with Hadassah and the entire family. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.